So he's been researching stages of development, stages of adult development, and actually how that relates to then being capable of leading, leading transformations. Because, and it has to do with if you're able to actually lead transformations in yourself, and you can do it for groups and then eventually also for organizations as a, as a, I mean, of course, it's not the only parameter you need to be quite skilled in narrow ways to be your leaders as well. But it's one of the, one of the things that is not, has been paid attention to um, a lot. And yet at this day, it's something that often is, is missing from the development of, of, of leaders and organizations. Actually creating a space where people then realize their own potential. And so, um, and sometimes it's a push and, and, um, and there's many times that I've seen these shifts in people when, when it's like one day, something that's been there all the time, it's like waking up and like stepping out of the door and being like, oh, all of this is here and I never saw it. And that's like, that is so rewarding um, moments in any context it's about relationships and relating to other people relating to yourself and relating to your work um, and so and conflict i think like conflict is um conflict is is not a bad thing <laughs> sometimes it's it's seen as a bad thing it's and it's not a bad thing if there is ways in which to actually um deal with that conflict and ways and, and ways to to bring it forward because usually it then can then of course it can lead to a big breakup but but it also might lead to a deeper relationship and more trust in the end because it's so much has to do with what is the owner you know wanting from the from the company and and if the owner structure is made in a way that really has the values of, of, of the human parts and then also having a healthy business. But, it, but that healthiness includes both people and the community around um, the people. So it's not only the employees, it's also their families. It's, it's the community in which the company is in. And then the actual practice is something we call um, action inquiry, or Bill, Bill calls it action inquiry, and we have turned it into inquiry in action, which is really the capacity of being, in, like inquire and act at the same time. And so often we kind of, in organizations, there are often more action and less inquiry. And inquiry, like action is, is appreciated and it's valued and and like if you do something that's yeah it's wonderful you get results whereas then the inquiry that allows for more expansive thinking for more perspectives um, and for more more space um, that that has a lot less time and a lot less value and and a lot of the times it's it's something that people are not very familiar with uh, whereas then in more conscious um, communities, I see a lot more inquiry than action. And, and what we work with is, is this whole, it's a skill, it's a way of life, it's, a, it's different kind of tools in how we can actually, how we can actually um, act in the way in which we want to act. So, and we often think, well, we do, but actually we don't. Bringing in more feminine power and more women into leadership positions and and i don't mean women that act like men <laughs> uh, but actually women that have stepped into their to the feminine power and, and integrated both the masculine and the feminine um, in their being and and i find this just as we're looking at climate change and and the changes that we need also in in like in the political world um, especially this is where where I it's not the only answer and it, it's not this simplistic but we we have a lot more capable women in this world who who could do a lot more um, and actually make make the kind of change that we that I, I believe we are to to like to have a, a place where we look seven generations ahead when we make our decisions mm -hmm. and not just for the next quarter like the next, next quarter.
Mm-hmm. Um, so how do we how do we actually create a place where where our grandchildren and their children are are able to have clean air and clean water and be safe? I think we could have so much more ki- kindness and humbleness and and just appreciate people where they are at and and see kind of the beauty in in people and and the small things and um and that's that's something that i i think just that in itself would make such a big difference Mm -hmm. uh, Mm -hmm. to the way in which we interact with each other Mm -hmm. um, in every place and and especially in organizations Mm -hmm.